tomorrow, the jury will get the case of the Christopher Steele dossier source, who was charged as part of the ongoing Durham probe into the Russia collusion hoax. Testimony during the trial revealed the FBI offered to pay Christopher Steele $1 million for information, and even after the Bureau couldn't verify the claims, the FBI still used the information to file for a, a FISA, FISA warrant. Uh, an FBI analyst also testified Igor Danchenko was on the FBI's payroll for years. Now the ranking member of the House Oversight Committee says he plans to hold FBI leadership accountable. We have a huge problem with the FBI, and the, the fact is the American people have lost confidence in the FBI. Uh, it's been politicized for at least six years now, uh, and it's going in the wrong direction. We don't need the leadership we have now. They should resign. They should be held accountable for wrongdoing. Now, I love the fact that we have uh, Republicans on the record now before the election that they're going to do something about this and hold these people accountable because uh, we've got there's real rot in the FBI. But, Nicole, uh, and obviously the Danchenko trial, we, there's no predicting uh, what, what a jury is going to do. But what is the big picture sort of takeaway right now? You know, it's interesting. So Danchenko's on trial, five counts, for uh, lying to the FBI, essentially, which contributed to this dossier. And one of the counts was actually just dropped in the last couple of days. But to just, if anybody is listening to why it got dropped, it just tells me what a circus this the entire process <laughs> exactly. is right now. So he essentially, he was charged for lying to the FBI because he said he never talked to a Democratic, op to the Democratic operative, um, Charles Dolan, who works for the Clinton campaign. Well, you're right. He didn't talk to Charles Nolan, but they sure did email each other. But because he was being charged with not talking, he said he didn't talk to them. They said, well, uh, technically he didn't talk to him. He only emailed them. So we're dropping this charge. I mean, I, in the world of digital communication, I mean, this has just been beyond asinine for me and I can't wrap my head around this. Um, but what I don't understand is this week you had Dolan actually testify and he said, well, you know, I, I said that it, I got my information from a GOP operative. Well, the truth is it actually wasn't. Uh, these are just rumors. I actually heard it on cable news. Well, these rumors <laughs> made it into the dossier, which made it into the FISA warrant application. I mean, the whole system is just broken. Right, exactly. And, you know, and again, the problem isn't that, that you, you've always had liars in the world. The problem is the cops, the good guys, need to be able to uh, to differentiate between them and, and get the good information. Uh, uh, um, uh, Alicia, you know, what, obviously this is pretty damning, I think, for the FBI. Um, do, you th do you have any faith that, that we might get progress? Well, it, I, don't, I don't know about faith, um, but I do know that <laughs> it, it's like every single day there's a new detail that right. I think causes Americans to really, you know, cast a shadow of doubt on the role of the FBI that it plays in the United States now. It's supposed to be a law enforcement agency, but it's doing something much different now. And it's so become so political that people, I think, out there, just they don't trust it anymore. We know lawmakers, and you bring up a really good point about midterms. If they take, if they take Congress, if Republicans take Congress, if they're going to follow through on some of these promises that they're going to hold um, the FBI accountable. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. Tyrus, um, FBI whistleblower Steve Friend uh, told uh, Dan Bongino, talked to Dan Bongino last night. Listen to this clip. The oath that we took when we became special agents does have meaning, um, and uh, I've yeah. become fond of saying that the oath doesn't retire, it doesn't get suspended. The, the FBI's fidelity, bravery, integrity uh, motto has to mean something to the individuals who, who are working on its day-to-day -day cases, and, and I hope that more uh, will come forward. It, it's time to step up. It's time to really be the people that, um, that we were called to when we originally applied to become special agents of the FBI. You know, another thing that he said in that interview was that the FBI was using the arrests from the January 6th stuff and, sp and sort of padding their domestic terrorism numbers around the country to make it seem like domestic terrorism is worse than it, than it really is. What, what, I mean, what, 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 well, what do you do about this? Well, what should, like I said, again, it's not the FBI. It's the, the, the people who decided a coup against the United States who happened to wear, who wore the badge. But right. What they were doing, why they were doing it, they were trying to make it, they needed to raise the numbers. You didn't need to 
raise numbers. You could have just looked at the rioting we saw, the looting we saw, the crime stuff we're still having in the name of Antifa or whatever, whatever left wing outfit they're doing when they commit crimes. Those numbers were pretty you could pad themselves, but that's not. They needed them to be MAGA. Right. They needed them to be right. right, but they forgot those that most of those individuals would go to work every day and they complain in the right way. So they needed January 6th to be bigger because again, who has been the target in this whole thing? This is my damn thing. Who has been the target in this whole thing? It's been. President Trump cannot run again. That's the oath that they took over the FBI. So, of course, we need to look like there's a MAGA attack in every city and, and, and all over this country, and it's running rampant, and they're burning down cities and flags, and et cetera, but they're not doing that. So they had to, whenever you do something illegal, whenever you do, whenever you're going to do a coup and take somebody out, you have to create it. And luckily, the American people have seen through this. And now, they're hopefully, uh, the, the men and women who are responsible for this, who decided to put their beliefs or their issues over the voters of the United States, over the government, and over the vow they took, will be held accountable. There needs to be hearings. These people need to be brought to justice. And hopefully, this is the beginning of it. Lady, Lady Justice is blindfolded because she's not supposed to see politics. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.